This is our White Belt Survival Guide. We're here to help you try to get through your first six months a little bit more easy. Let's get it. A super common question that my White Belts ask me is what to do when someone's just laying on top of them in the side control. They feel like they're just being pinned and they don't know what else to do. We're gonna work two options. So when I'm in this type of spot, it can be very frustrating, right? Remember, your first thing that you need to do is try to find some comfort, right? A very common mistake, the one thing that we don't wanna do is connect ourselves more to our partner, right? I don't wanna reach up and start hugging Jason here. When I do that, while it might make me feel safe, right? I'm just gonna like, oh, hug him. I'm not working my way out to progress the game, to get to a better position, or to eventually escape, right? So, I have to be aware of two things. There's really only two ways I can move. I can move towards my partner or away from my partner, right? If one of them doesn't work, try the other one, but don't make your movements too big, okay? If I can start even here with my arms in the wrong place, even with Jason hugging me hard, if I start to just gently rock myself, I'm able to start to use my hip escape and able to make a little space and get on my side. That's gonna be our first key. I want to get on my side facing my partner. So once again, even if I'm here and I have the wrong re reaction, I'm holding on, I still need to escape. The biggest thing is if this guy's just trying to hold me, I need to start with a little movement. If I try going all big movements all at one time, like he knows that's what I want. He's gonna hunker down and I'm going to get more tired. That feeling of suffocating is gonna happen more. I need to calm myself, remind myself my goal is just to survive this position and start to work smart, right? So even if I'm here, I'm just gonna start to rock my body. If I can't turn into Jason the first time, I'm gonna turn away the littlest bit that I can and then back until I can get him rocking. As you can see, as I do this, he starts to move more. When he moves, I'm able to do certain things. Now I'm able to turn onto my side. Once I'm able to turn on my side, this should put you in a familiar position of your hip escape. Then I'm going to escape my hips, bring my bottom leg in, and work back to my guard. So if I'm not supposed to hold Jason, where should my arms go? I want them to be frames here, and I want my frames to be pushing against this guy. I'm not doing like a bench press, I'm doing like a plank, right? I wanna to get to a point where I can hold it. So again, I'm not using a lot of energy. This is gonna help me even more with my hip escape. If I'm able to, and the guy's not holding me that tight, turn into him right away and hip escape, great. That's gonna get me much closer to being out. But if I have that feeling of, man, this guy's just holding me, I'm gonna to start to rock just a little bit. Get him to move and return to my guard. So I'm here and of course, we've went over the concept of our frames. I want my frames to be in. Sometimes though, no matter how hard I try, I am not gonna be able to turn in, right? The guy's got me too hard on my face and maybe controlling my hips, right? So I have another option, which is to turn away. This happens a lot and is a response that the guy on top is looking for, right? So I need to turn away with the correct things happening, right? Remembering, my goal is to put my partner back in front of me, okay? So I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna rock again just so I can get a little bit of space to get my arm through and sit up to my forearm. Once I'm here, I'm gonna use my arm to push off of my opponent, turning to all fours in the turtle guard and putting my opponent in front of me. Here, here, notice that my opponent is now in front of me, right? It gives me a lot of options. I can shoot in, I can sit through to the guard, or I can work a technical stand up and begin the match again. One of the biggest mistakes I can make while using this running escape is to when I turn, not turn and face my partner, right? If I turn this way and just do a barrel roll, Jason's gonna come here and take my back and we're to finish, right? So there's a very clear thing I want you to notice that from this angle, once I've gotten my frames where I want them to be, this hand is going to block his bottom hook and notice the difference in my rotation. I'm going to come up to all fours, making sure that my partner stays in front of me. Here, my hand blocks the hook and I turn all the way to put my partner in front of me. Guys, this is 
John brought him here today to help show how to get out when someone's just laying on top of you. Nice. Rock your hips, rock your hips. Once you feel comfortable. Yes, now big hip escape. Yes, John. Very good, bro. That's it. Very good. Nice. Yes. So guys, one thing to remember is those frames at the end. I'm never trying to push my opponent. I'm always trying to use my frames to move myself. Picture yourself swimming in a pool and you have the opportunity to push off the wall. I'm using my opponent as that wall to push off. Of. So guys, thanks for checking out the White Belt Survival Guide. This is John, White Belts. Hit us up with your questions and we hit you on the next episode.